This episode was brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on hackerarsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. I'm Marley Oxenholm from Pentester Academy TV, and welcome to our show, Access Point, where we spotlight cybersecurity companies and give an inside look at the people and technology behind the latest advancements in the industry. Today, I'll be speaking with the company, Sentinel One. I'm sitting down right now with Raj Rajamani, who is VP of Product Management at the company. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks for the opportunity. Absolutely. I got a lot of uh, great questions here from our tech team, so you ready to get started? Sure. All right. Okay, so first question. Can you tell us about the founding of Sentinel One? Who are the founders and why did they decide on this idea? Sentinel One was founded by uh, Toma Weingarten, who's currently our CEO. Um, Almak Cohen, uh, who's our CTO, and Udi Shamir, who's our chief scientist. Um, they actually started uh, with a kernel of an idea, which was about behavioral detection. Mm -hmm. So around 2010 time frame, uh, it was very obvious to everyone in the industry that the signature-based approaches to detecting malware and threats was kind of becoming incapable of dealing with the explosion and volume of new threats. Mm -hmm. And uh, there were various different uh, approaches or uh, technologies that were invented around that time frame. And um, what Tomer, Udi, and Almog tried or decided to do was to start instrumenting the behavior of running processes. And when they started instrumenting and capturing all the information from these processes, they were able to kind of clearly see a difference between good applications and the ones that were kind of trying to do some harm on your systems. Okay. So the company was founded on the, the behavioral technology. It is still one of our core differentiators. And, you know, that's, uh, of course, we added a lot of other technologies and other ways of improving our detection. Uh, but our fundamental uh, you know, differentiator is our behavioral detection capability. Wonderful. Okay, got it. And now what would be the elevator pitch for Sentinel-1? The elevator pitch <laughs> is that we are an integrated EPP plus EDR. Uh, so I'm sure you guys are familiar with what an EPP is versus EDR. EDR works under the assumption that you cannot catch all bad things. Um, and EPP is, of course, a, a class of products that are trying to prevent threats from actually doing harm. We've brought these two concepts together. We believe we are the first product to have a truly integrated approach with a single agent and a single console that brings all the elements of EPP and EDR together. We have best-in-class protection, and we have best-in-class detection capability. So we instrument the system. We capture a lot of IOCs. We stream that into our console, and anyone can actually use the console to search for uh, patterns. So, so they can say, okay, show me all the unsigned binaries that have attempted a network connection to a certain wow. IP range in the last 24 hours, mm -hmm. and it'll immediately pinpoint those unsigned wow. binaries in their network. So, so the integrated EPP plus EDR is our biggest differentiator. We have a few other features, but you know, in terms of an elevator pitch, I would say we are the first and truly integrated EPP plus EDR play. Wonderful. Okay, got it. And now, uh, what stage would you say that the company is currently in? Um, we are in a growth stage. Okay. Uh, we've uh, had 300 percent year over year growth. Wow. Uh, we are now selling into uh, the global 2000, mm -hmm. um, and that is our primary focus. We are partnering with a number of uh, other vendors like uh, SonicWall and Microsoft to expand wow, into nice. certain market niches uh, that we are not targeting ourselves. Okay. And uh, now, who uses Sentinel-1 primarily? What does your customer base look like? Um, almost everyone in the planet needs okay. an AV. Yep. Uh, and we are selling primarily into the enterprises. Some of them okay. are really small with 200, 500 endpoints. And then we also have global 2,000 customers uh, you know, who deploy our agent to tens of thousands of systems. Mm -hmm. the, the beauty of the market that we are in is that even though the market as a whole is not growing, uh, there is a significant shift of revenue or dollars from the traditional players like the Symantec's and the McAfee's and the Kaspersky's mm -hmm. to the next-gen players like the Silences and the CrowdStrikes and mm -hmm. the Sentinel Ones, uh, and we are definitely benefiting from that market trend, uh, and you know, practically selling into anyone who has an endpoint uh, project. 
okay. either EPP project or EDR. Nice. Okay. And now I know that endpoint security and threat hunting is a crowded market today. How are you differentiating yourself besides the reason that you had mentioned earlier? Um, th there are two distinct classes of products in the market today. One is EDR. And, you know, with the pure EDR plays, the, their focus is on reducing the time between a compromise or a breach and the mm. time it is found and cleaned up. Right. And CrowdStrike and Carbon Black are two prominent companies in that space. What they don't do very well is the prevention uh, or, mm. you know, pre-execution detection and prevention. Right. Um, and then we have a couple of companies that focus on pre-execution capabilities, but they are not very good with the detect and respond, which is the ability to capture all the information and make it available for you to search and triage later on. Mm -hmm. So by bringing everything together, we have, uh, you know, a very differentiated product against the EPP plays, uh, what we do is we tell them that, hey, it's not enough for you to just have a pre-execution prevention. You need multiple layers of defense. You mm -hmm. need to have the ability to, you know, search for these IOCs. You need to have the ability to respond to a breach or a compromise. Yep. And when selling against the crowd strikes or the carbon blacks or normal pitches, most of their protection is very basic and relies on cloud connectivity. Uh -huh. Our agents are fully autonomous, which means that even when deployed uh, you know, to a system that is offline, you may be sitting in a, a hotel, you may be at a Starbucks, you may be on an airplane, we still give you almost the same level of protection as cloud-connected systems. Okay. So the prevention capability is a significant differentiator against the EDRs, and our EDR capability is the biggest differentiator against EPP. So again, it comes back to an integrated EPP plus EDR. Got it. Okay. And now uh, I know that your website mentions that your product can detect almost any type of attack without prior knowledge. Can you talk about a case study of a zero-day vulnerability which you stop for a customer? Sure. Th there are numerous. Uh, a couple of uh, very interesting examples are the CC Cleaner. Mm -hmm. So if you remember uh, almost two or three months ago, uh, there was this uh, news about how the CC Cleaner, which is a utility, was actually compromised or they compromised, the attackers compromised the download sites mm -hmm. and, you know, modified the binary. And it was actually a signed binary. So there was nothing in the product to suspect that it might be doing something bad. And mm -hmm. this is, again, where our behavior detection shines through, mm -hmm. we were able to detect that this was performing some bad operations wow. by just observing the, uh, you know, types of uh, things it was doing, you know, either modifying the files or network activity mm -hmm. or touching the registry and so on. Uh, and, and a more recent example is the WannaCry and the Eternal Blue. Mm -hmm. uh, again, this was something that we were able to detect. Uh, and this week or late last week, there was this news about process doppelganging. Mm -hmm. Again, our behavioral detection is able to detect mainly because we are observing all the activity on the system. And whenever our static or our behavioral AI engine mm -hmm. notices that, you know, based on various signals, the score crosses a certain threshold, mm -hmm. we immediately jump in and kill the process. So, uh, again, numerous examples, uh, but these were great um, you know, wins against uh, some of our competitors, mainly because if you look at CC Cleaner, everyone would say, hey, that's a signed binary. Uh, mm -hmm. You can trust it. There is nothing wrong with it. Yeah. We even had customers ask us, why is it that you're actually calling it bad? And then when, you know, it became uh, public news, you know, they were all kind of posting on social media. In fact, one of the first uh, posts about CC Cleaner and social media is from a customer of ours uh -huh. who used our product to detect it. Wow, that's incredible. Okay. And now speaking of wins against competitors and stuff, can you talk about Sentinel-1's progress so far, you know, in the market and any notable milestones you guys are proud of? Uh, yes. So uh, we had a huge turnaround in the business uh, this year, um, starting with the product organization. So we, we've had a couple of major milestones. Mm -hmm. uh, we released a version 2.0 of our product, which is nice. much superior detection and protection capabilities. And then we also integrated what we call deep visibility, which is our EDR mm -hmm. module, into the agent. Uh, we've, ha we've been able to attract a lot of top talent. Uh, we have a new CFO, Bob Parker, a new chief revenue officer, Nick Warner, uh, and 
just recently we had a new VP of HR join us from LinkedIn. So nice. we've had this huge awesome. influx of ta talent. Uh, everyone is you know coming from companies that have been super successful and overall uh, our execution has been very good in the last few months uh, and as uh, as i said earlier uh, we are tracking to over 300 percent growth year over year oh, wonderful and now what are the company's plans for 2018 um, plans are to continue uh, our, our laser focus on execution yep. um, you know, we think we have a unique opportunity here, especially as there is this consolidation mm -hmm. of the EPP and EDR capabilities. Almost everyone starting with Gartner is talking about how these capabilities are so complementary that they have to come together, mm -hmm. right? And we are at the forefront or the vanguard of that revolution where we have something that you know, the market has been kind of lusting for. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, we are seeing consistent wins against our competitors, and we think we, you know, if we continued uh, focusing on uh, building the product and mm -hmm. our, making our customers successful, uh, we'll have a great 2018. Yeah, wonderful. I look forward to it. And any last things that you'd like to highlight about the company? Um, well, uh, we are always looking for great talent. So hey, if you, you are a security <laughs> professional, nice. uh, whether it be in professional services or if you're doing pen testing for a living or if you want to be part of a red team, uh, I would love to kind of uh, get in touch with you. You can you know, write to us. Uh, you can find me on LinkedIn or social media. Uh, and we are always hiring. Perfect. Thank you so much. And uh, thank you so much for sitting down and speaking with us today. I appreciate it. Thank you, Molly. Absolutely. That's all the time we have for today, so be sure to tune in next time for another episode of Access Point. Also, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook so you don't miss out on any of the latest cybersecurity news. This episode is brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on HackerArsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.